Europe saw more encouraging signs as several countries, including the worst affected, reported falling new COVID-19 infections and deaths. The initial wave of COVID-19 infections appears to have passed its peak in 20 European Union and European Economic Area countries. According to a new report published by the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control, more European countries are planning to ease antivirus restrictions. The French government is looking to ease a six-week lockdown on May the 11th in the hopes of injecting life into the crumbling economy while ensuring people's safety. The government is set to unveil its exit strategy next week. Another good news in Europe came from the Geneva-based the World Health Organization WHO. With the backing of global partners and leaders, the UN Health Agency launched a landmark international initiative to accelerate the development of COVID-19 health technologies. By launching the international cooperation, the WHO and its partners aim to ensure all people have access to all the tools to defeat COVID-19, said the WHO chief. Then, let's have a quick look of the latest numbers on COVID-19 cases and deaths. In Italy, new coronavirus infections and hospitalizations have dropped over the past 24 hours. The official tally showed the cumulative cases has risen to 195,351. The death toll on Saturday was 415, bringing the total to 26,384 fatalities. Spanish health authorities confirmed on Saturday the country has a total of 223,759 cases and 22,902 deaths. In neighboring France, hospitalization data reported a slow and steady decline. Patients in intensive care units fell by 183 to 4,870, below the country's original capacity of 5,000 beds. With 389 new deaths, the country's tally now rises to 22,245. And in Germany, the country has reported 2,055 new infections in the past 24 hours, with total cases reaching 152,438, according to German Disease Control Agency Robert Koch Institute. A total of 5,500 deaths have been recorded, an increase of 179 over the past 24 hours. Around 109,800 people are considered to have recovered, 3,000 more than the previous day. In Britain, the Department of Health and Social Care said Saturday another 813 people who tested positive for COVID-19 have died in hospitals as of Friday afternoon, bringing the total number of coronavirus-related deaths to 20,319. As of Saturday morning, 148,377 cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed, marking a daily increase of 4,913.